Hi Gemini, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are currently connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, Gemini, let's take a look at your person's current energy towards you. Let's see. Here we go. Spirit angels and guys, please show me what is this person's current energy towards Gemini, whoever it is that Gemini is currently connecting to and dealing with in love. What is this person's current energy towards Gemini, please? Thank you, Spirit. Gemini, Gemini. What is this person's current energy towards Gemini? All right, we have Strength, Eight of Cups, and we also have the Ten of Cups. That's interesting energy. You might be dealing with a Leo or a Pisces. Could be any sign. <clears throat> At the bottom of the deck, five of wands to the six of pentacles to the nine of pentacles. Okay, this is not, why do I feel like this is not your person's energy? This feels like your energy. It's weird though, because normally I get both energies combined, but hmm. Unless your energy is their energy, that, that's a possibility. Could be that you two are mirroring each other, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what's happening here. I think you two are mirroring each other. <clears throat> hmm. So how you feel is how they feel. All right, I got it. Yeah, so it kind of looks like you're avoiding this person, Gemini, with the Strength card and the Six of Pentacles. You're avoiding this person and they're avoiding you. You're keeping your distance from this person and they're keeping their distance from you. It does look like there was some sort of fight, argument, um, disagreement, discord between you and this person that caused a breakup or a separation between the two of you. Why is the Eight of Cups going to the Ten of Cups is my question. I really want to figure that one out. So let me go ahead and clarify that. For some reason, the Eight of Cups is going to the Ten of Cups. Things are going to work out. Yeah. Eight of Cups to the Ten of Cups Cups is kind of like an energy of things are going to work out. You might not see it right now. You might not understand it right now at this moment. But everything is going to work out. Now, I don't know what that means, though. I don't know if is everything going to work out between you and this person. Or is it that you're going to... Um, head towards a new beginning that's going to be very successful and emotionally fulfilling for you. So I don't know what that means exactly, but we're going to figure it out. <clears throat> yeah, things are going to work out. Hmm. You are showing up as single and you are showing up as someone who is very focused on yourself, your career, your work, your finances, your personal stability, your health, your goals. You're all about yourself. You're all about um, empowerment, like empowering yourself with the strength card. Hmm. All right, let's go over to your person side. See what's going on here. Spirit angels and guys, please show me what is this person's energy to you see I was you see. This is what I'm talking about. You see, I don't feel like this is um your person's energy. 
Yeah. I meant to say your energy, but um, what I said was your person's energy. It was a mistake, but nothing is a mistake. So, yeah, let's go with it. Um, what is this person's energy towards Gemini? Whoever it is that Gemini is connecting to and dealing with in love. What is this person's current energy towards Gemini? All right, here we go. So we have the Hermit card. We have the Four of Pentacles. And we also have the Page of Swords. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is a mirroring energy. That's what I said. Definitely a mirroring energy. So you two have some sort of telepathic connection, apparently, with each other. Some sort of spiritual, I don't know, soulmate, twin flame, telepathic type of connection. Oh, you know what I just got, Gemini? You know this Eight of Cups to the Ten of Cups? I just got right now that it could be with this person. Especially with these cards showing up. It could be with this person. But it could also not be with this person. This is a happily ever after. This is, you know, like I said, things working out. Um, um, things turning around for the better. This is success and victory. And um, happiness. So it could be with this person. But, but it could also be with somebody else. It, it kind of looks like it's... Um, inconclusive right now. No matter what, you're going to have this happily ever after, no matter what. Like, that part is for sure. Whether it's with this person or whether it's not with this person, you are going to have this um, victory and this um, this um, emotionally fulfilling relationship. And long-term commitments. Okay. But it looks like right now, I guess there's some sort of crossroads energy. You know, like a fork in the road. There's a fork in the road. And things can either go to the left or, or to the right. But it kind of looks like right now, um, it's not clear which direction it's going to which direction your life is going to head towards. Hmm. All right. So in regards to their energy towards you, Gemini, this person is very isolated right now with the Hermit card. They're, they're in, a, in a very with, emotionally withdrawn energy. They're keeping to themselves and they're doing a lot of deep thinking and deep reflecting at the moment. With the Four of Pentacles, this person is still holding on to you and holding on to the connection and relationship that they have with you. I do feel like this person is watching you and spying on you, keeping tabs on you. It does look like they want to reach out to you and they want to have a conversation with you, but they're, but they're holding back from doing so with the Four of Pentacles and the Hermit card, they're holding back from showing up, you know, in your life and, and contacting you. Kind of looks like they're suppressing their desires um, to, to connect with you. And instead, they're... Um, Instead of connecting with you or contacting you, they're keeping to themselves. They're isolating themselves. It kind of looks like right now they just don't want to um, be with anyone or see anyone. Not you. I'm, I'm talking about like the people around them. Like friends and families. Friends and family. They don't want to be around anyone. They just want to have their time apart and their space apart from everything and everyone. The only thing that, that I see this person thinking about is you. 
Okay. Bottom of the deck in their current energy towards Gemini. We have the Death card. We have the Empress. And we also have the Knight of Wands. So yeah, double confirmation that this person definitely feels a lot of um, desire to be with you, to contact you, to reach out to you, to pursue you with the Knight of Wands. You are showing up as the Empress here. So this person definitely sees you as the total package. They do recognize that you're someone who has everything they could ever want or wish for in a person, in a partner, in a long-term partner. They're very attracted to you. They feel a lot of passion for you. Um, but with the death card, it does look like there was some sort of break, um, separation, ending between the two of you. And they've been just choosing to not, they've been choosing to not take action. Yeah, they've been choosing to not take action towards you and to just, you know, kind of like give you your space and give you your time apart. But it's, it's, it's very hard for this person to resist their temptation to 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 try to reconnect with you okay all right let's take a look at um their feelings so i want to put you over here i do want to get back to you but i'll do that in a second or i mean a little bit later let's see their current feelings for you all right, spirit angels and guys, please show me what are this person's current feelings for Gemini? How is this person currently feeling about Gemini? Hmm. All right, we have Queen of Pentacles, we have the Hierophant, and we have the Ten of Pentacles in their current feelings for you. Hmm. This person is thinking about marriage, or this could also be um, commitment, a committed relationship. Hmm. Yeah, they're thinking about marriage and they're thinking about a committed relationship. What about it? I don't know what about it, though. Let's see at the bottom of the deck and their current feelings for you. The justice card. Yeah, that's definitely marriage and, um, and or committed relationship. The queen of cups and the star. And their current feelings for you. Okay. Hmm. I'm, I'm noticing how both of you are in feminine energy. You're in feminine energy and they're in feminine energy. <coughs> it, sorry. So it kind of looks like both of you are kind of scared to um, proceed forward with this relationship for different reasons, basically. Sorry, I choked a little bit. All right. Hmm. Now, with the star card, this person definitely feels like this relationship with you, it, it feels to them like it's destined. It feels like destiny. It feels like fate. It's like every part of their body is feeling pulled towards you. There's a deep, strong spiritual connection that this person feels with you. Yeah, this is what I said. There's some sort of telepathic, psychic link between the two of you. You two, it almost looks like you two are communicating with each other, except that it's not verbal. 
It's like energetically, psychically, you two are communicating. Hmm. All right, so it does kind of look like this person does really want to establish um, a long-term commitment with you, um, Gemini. I am seeing that. All right, let me clarify the Hermit card just to see more details here. Tell me about the Hermit card connected to this person's current energy towards Gemini spirit. Tell me about this Hermit card, please. You might be dealing with a Virgo, Scorpio, Capricorn. Tell me about the Hermit card or Fire Sign. All right, we have the Ace of Wands to the Three of Cups to the Five of Swords. Yeah, it does look like there was some sort of big disagreement between the two of you. Um, some sort of fight or argument between the two of you. Mm. <clears throat> um, Spirit, why is Gemini avoiding this person? What is the reason? What is the challenge here, or what is the issue between Gemini and this person? Why is Gemini avoiding this person or distancing themselves from this person? Okay. We have the sun. Some of you might have discovered something about this person. You might have been enlightened to some sort of truth that this person was hiding for you, hiding from you. Tell me more. Why is Gemini distancing themselves from this person? What's the issue here? Yeah, Ace of Swords is here. This is the Sword of Truth. So it does look like um, some sort of truth came up to the surface, Gemini, that, that was, you know, very obvious, very, very obvious, some sort of obvious truth. that it kind of looks like it, it, it caused you to walk away from them, like you had no choice, because it was like, all right, this is it, like, this is the truth, like, it's out in the open, there's no more, there's no more hiding. Yeah, and what is that truth? What's that about, Sverin? What's the sun and the ace of swords? The, the truth regarding what? All right, we do have the Ten of Wands. So um, for some of you, I am getting that the, that with the Ten of Wands, this is kind of like an energy of like, there's no change. And it's getting to the point where like, you can't, you can't avoid it anymore. Like you can't make yourself blind to it anymore. Like no matter how much you try, no matter how much, you know, you, you do, it's like there's no change. You two keep, keep staying stuck at the same level, in the same level. The relationship is not progressing. The relationship is not getting better, you know, and it's getting to the point where, like, there's no more excuses, you know? There's no more justification for it. It's just not working out. Mm. I almost, I'm also noticing this Three of Cups to the Five of Swords here. Um, I'm also noticing the Knight of Wands. So for some of you, there, um, there was a third party situation that also might have come to light in regards to this person being involved with some other option. What else can you tell me about the Ace, um, Ace of Swords to the Sun? Uh, yeah, we have the hangman. Again, this is an energy of illumination. Uh, 
Yeah, there's there's an energy here of like, okay, I guess there's nothing else to talk about, you know? There's nothing else to say. There's nothing else to talk about. Like, um, the truth is just way too obvious at this point. Um, and I feel like it, it is um, related to the fact that things are just not changing with the Ten of Wands. There's, this is like a constant rep, rep, repetitive pattern between the two of you. So the fact that this relationship is not going anywhere and the fact that um, there's no change in this relationship, it kind of looks like it just, it, it was unavoidable. Like it became clear, it, it, it became an unavoidable truth. Mm, okay. Well, you know, it's going to be different for all of you. So this is kind of like generalizing more or less, you know, what's going on here between the two of you. Obviously, the details are going to be different for all of you. It kind of looks like someone said something, though, with the Ace of Swords. Someone, like, actually verbalized something. And the moment they verbalized whatever, whatever it is that they said, the moment they said it, it was like, okay, the truth is out there. That's it. Like, you said it. Like, it, it, you said it. You spoke it, you know? You can't take it back now. You can't take back what you said. It's, it's already um, out, out there. Okay. Hmm. All right, Spirit, what else can you tell me about um, what are this person's current feelings for Gemini? How is this person currently feeling about Gemini? How is this person currently feeling about Gemini? Three of Swords, the Hermit card, and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, I do feel like there's guilt uh, connected to this person. So it does kind of look like this person said something that um, sunk them. Sunk them like, like the Titanic ship. It kind of like it, it, um, it was the straw that broke the camel's back type of energy. But in their current feelings for you, they're definitely devastated. They're, they're very hurt. I feel like they're trying to act like they're not, though. I feel like they're trying to pretend like they're, they're fine. But this person's definitely devastated with the Three of Swords. Um, yeah, it kind of looks like this person has a lot that they need to think about with the Seven of Cups and the Hermit card. There's a, a, there's a whole lot that this person needs to figure out and analyze and and, you know, truly think about and, and organize in their life. This is someone who doesn't have their priorities straight. This is someone who's confused about their priorities. And I kind of, I feel like this is the energy that they were coming towards you with. Or that they were, you know, that they were in while they were in a relationship with you. Someone very fickle, very wishy-washy, very indecisive, very, um, someone who's constantly like changing their minds, very unpredictable. All right, tell me about that spirit. Hermit to the Seven of Cups. The Hermit card has already showed up twice for this person, two times, so. They're definitely doing a lot of deep psychological, you know, digging into their thoughts and, and feelings right now, which is good. That's, that's good. Tell me about this hermit to the Seven of Cups and their current feelings for Gemini. 
we have, yeah, look at that, the Five of Cups here. They're definitely grieving this separation, um, but I also feel like they are experiencing a lot of guilt here. The more this person digs into their own energy, into their own psychology, the more this person realizes that they really did self-sabotage a really good opportunity here with you. Mm, I see. Yeah, it kind of looks like this person was playing games here, mind games and head games with you. And this card, it's, it's looking at the Three of Cups. So it kind of looks like, like this person was treating this relationship with you in a very casual way. Because the Three of Cups is kind of like an energy of, you know, being casual friends with someone, having a casual relationship with someone. Ace of Wands can represent a physical relationship, so it kind of looks like that was their main um, focus with you, having more of a physical, casual relationship, uh, potentially kind of like a friends with benefits type of relationship. But it does look like you decided to walk away here with the Eight of Cups. You walked away from this um, situation here with this person, this situationship, and they find themselves feeling lost now. Yeah, they're feeling really lost. This person has a lot of ego. I am noticing that. There's a lot of ego here. But it does look like whatever... Whatever you did, Gemini, or whatever you said in the in the last encounter, um, it kind of looks like it really hit this person. Like it really hit them in, in the heart. So I don't know what you did or what you said. Maybe you maybe you were very like blunt or straightforward, very direct with this person. Um, this can be an energy of no, no filter. You had no filter with this person the last time you two encountered each other because it, I am seeing an energy of them feeling like hit, hit in the heart. Like it really struck them, whatever it is that you did or said, it really struck them hard. So I do feel like this person's ego is shattered right now. And they are feeling the, the weight at this moment. They're feeling the, the heavy weight of their bad actions, you know, or their bad decisions while, while being with you. Okay. All right, so we figured that out. Uh, sorry about that noise. I think that's an airplane, I guess. All right. Going back over here. All right, let's see their intentions. Let's take a look at that. Actually, I want to take these cards again just to make sure. Let's see. Yeah. What else? Anything else? Okay. All right, Spirit, what can you tell me about this person's current intentions with Gemini? Wait, I need, I need more cards. Hold on. I need this one. I need this one. This one. What else? This one. Okay. Wait, the death card also. All right. What are this person's current intentions with Gemini? Their true intentions. True, genuine, honest intentions currently with Gemini. What is it? All right, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, Jesus, and the Temperance card. Wow. Mm, this person's going, going through a little bit of a... Uh, a life crisis 
right now. You know, kind of like a midlife crisis type of energy, something like that. They don't have to be in their 50s, though. Maybe they are for some of you. But it's like, um, yeah, this is a big moment for them because the temperance is attached to them. You might be dealing with a Sagittarius, but this is like a big, um, a big life lesson that they're going through right now, that they're experiencing. Hmm. Yeah, there's a there's a big life lesson here that they're 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 learning. Um, it's almost like karma. I feel like karma is really hitting this person at this moment. Hmm. It does look like the universe is trying to get is trying to get this person to really um, be honest with themselves about you know their faults, their mistakes, their, the mistakes that they've made. And to really try to change and, and elevate themselves. Not for this relationship, though. That's the thing. It's not for this relationship. It's not for them to have a healthy relationship with you. It's for them to have a healthy relationship with themselves because I feel like that's really what's suffering the most here, you know? Because the reality is that, you know, and I'm just reading the cards here, especially with the temperance card, the reality is that this relationship, it's, it's not important, you know? It's, it's not important at the end of the day. What's, what's really important is, is them, you know, healing themselves and, and, and creating a, a, a healthy relationship with themselves. And, you know, elevating their consciousness and elevating their... Um, their connection to, to themselves. Yeah, that's really what the universe is wanting um, this person to do. Like, make a change, but make, it, make the change for yourself. Don't make it for this relationship with Gemini, you know? Mm, okay, uh, bottom of the deck, uh, what was I asking? Their intentions, their intentions with you, okay. Six of Cups to the Six of Swords to the Queen of Pentacles. Mm. Well, it does look like this person is trying at this moment to really, um, um, like I said, make a change in themselves and um, come towards you with a whole different energy. Um, they are trying to like reinvent themselves at this moment and transform themselves um, because they do really want to be with you. Um, but it does look like this person has a lot of issues that have nothing to do with you, Gemini. It looks like this person has a lot of issues with their with their family or um, in regards to like um, their childhood or um, their money situation, their work or career. I feel like there's a lot of instability in this person's life and it really does affect their relationship with you. Um, but it does look like the universe is definitely trying to help this person and, and support them um, towards, uh, towards, towards changing their life for the better. Hmm. And their intentions, I do see that this person they really feel a really intense soulmate connection with you and their intentions is to head back towards you, um, but they do wanna to come towards you completely, uh, 
different, completely different. Um, I do feel like they re they recognize your worth and they do recognize that they haven't been um, treating you the way you deserve. So I do see that they want to come towards you to heal um, the damage that they've created and the disappointment that they've created um, for you or with you. Um, anything else about their intentions? Three of Cups to the Moon to the Knight of Swords. Yeah, I don't see this person giving up on their relationship with you. I see this person um, coming towards you uh, with a lot of determination, with the Knight of Swords here, with a lot of determination to um, bring this relationship back together. Okay. Hmm. Tell me about the Knight of Swords, Spirit. Tell me about this Knight of Swords energy. We have the Strength card, the Devil card, and the King of Cups. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely an energy of determination. This is kind of like an energy of Gemini, please don't leave me. Please give me another chance. I promise it's going to be different this time. Just let me prove myself to you. I know I was wrong. Um, I know I was toxic with the devil card. Let me show you that things can change. Okay. Hmm. All right. Let's see what actions. Spare what actions will this person take towards Gemini moving forward? What actions? The Ten of Cups. Yeah, this person is headed towards you to have a reconciliation with you, to attempt a reconciliation with you. Um, the decision is going to be up to you, Gemini, of course. Remember, this is the card that showed up at the beginning of the reading. So this happily ever after, it could be with this person or it could be with someone else. Let's see if there's any advice. Any advice for Gemini in regards to what they should do, Spirit? Any advice for Gemini in regards to what they should do? All right, we do have the Seven of Swords as the advice. Um, I feel like you're going to have to, you know, test this person, Gemini. You know, don't believe what they're telling you immediately. You know, don't take their word for it. If they're telling you something, let them prove that, live it, sorry, let them prove it to you with actions. Don't just take their word for it, okay? I feel like that's the advice here. All right, Gemini, I'm going to stop the reading here. I hope this reading helped you. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.